I think it's just keeping a positive attitude and believing that I will be okay and talking to my body and doing all the things that um, I can to support myself emotionally and mentally, which is probably the most important part. And I know that your good friend John Travolta recently lost his wife to cancer. How is he doing and, you know, how have you been there for him? You know, I don't, it's really, I don't really want to talk about his, his personal life. We're dear friends and, of course, Kelly was a lovely woman and incredibly tragic uh, loss. And they just strengthened my resolve to find an end to cancer. That's really, you know, losing friends and losing people that you care about just makes me even more determined to um, do this research. Olivia, I have to ask, how are you feeling? Great. I feel really well, thank you. I'm really doing well. Good. Thanks to my Good. husband Good. and his plant medicine. Yeah. Um, I'm doing really well. Definitely. I mean, what's the most important thing that you've learned over your cancer journey? Oh gosh, um, <laughs> Chloe's whispering plants. Yeah. Well, of course plants. Plant medicine has been incredibly healing for me, but I think it's just keeping a positive attitude and believing that I will be okay and talking to my body and doing all the things that um, I can to support myself emotionally and mentally, which is probably the most important part. Yeah. And uh, taking plant medicine. My husband grows medicinal cannabis here for me and I take a lot of Amazonian herbs and uh, vitamins and natural things. Um, so I'm very, I'm very grateful to have his support and his knowledge, um, which led us to start a foundation, the Olivia Newton-John Foundation Fund, to raise money to research plant medicine for cancer, to find kinder treatments, and eventually to find a world beyond cancer. That's my dream. I love what you say that you call yourself a cancer thriver, which I think is fantastic. Yes, absolutely. Yep.